procedure with an interesting reason to do the procedure. The patient had this hair transplant with us with a nice, nicely done hair, hair line. We're going to look at this picture. So then he went somewhere else and somebody said, with putting tattoo in between them, permanent tattoo, they can make it even better. And he got it and then it was not natural anymore because it looks like the uh, painted scalp. The first hair transplant, the hairline that we gave him was mature enough so we can bring it a little lower to cover the tattooed area. So this is the line. This is the existing hairline he had from before. And these are tattoos. In front of that line. And now we're bringing this hairline a little bit lower to just cover those and get rid of that unnatural appearance. This is how we had him before. He had some little class 3 hair loss. The, the hairline was thinning the front. In addition to a solid hairline, he wanted to have this widow speak that we gave it to him. More angles, you see the front, you see the corners, and also uh, even over back and all the way, this area that's thinning, we, we filled it with hair. Picture. This is before the procedure, this is the day of procedure, the front you see how nicely dense it is and then this is like uh, this is two weeks that you see the hair and this is six months after procedure, nicely done, hairline and widow speak and everything. Then somebody suggested that they can make it better with putting tattoo here and that was not a good decision. So these are the little dots of tattoo in the very front. As you can see, the front of it, that, that line is my hairline. So we're going to bring the hairline a little lower to cover those areas. One more day is over, we've done with the procedure, a little bit more than 600 grafts, finished the front, brought the hairline a little bit down to cover those tattoo dots. So the message to, from the procedure today is, if you need to have any cosmetic change, tattooing on the scalp, anything like that, micropigmentation, make sure you discuss with your primary doctor or to your hair transplant surgeon if you have one. Try to stay away from the permanent procedures like the, uh, the tattooing and stuff that some people do that May that last for the rest of your day. We had a happy ending story. We finished the front. We, we covered those areas that uh, were coming below the, the, the hairline. And let's look at the picture. So this is the transplanted hair. You see the hairline coming down. It's still not too low, but we had enough room to come down and cover those tattooed areas. This is Dr. Mohebi from Parson Mohebi Hair Restoration. Just presented to you another hair transplant procedure. Uh, we see you tomorrow. Have a good day.